Hi everyone, welcome to Studio 2.8 TV. My name is Mary Bach and in this video I'm going to show you a really valuable tool called the Quick Control Screen. And the way that you access it on a Canon camera is you press the Q button on the back of the camera. This is what I call my Command Central. This gives me all the settings that my camera is currently set at at a very quick glance. So let's start out with the one that is highlighted in the upper left corner. The 1 1 25th of a second is the shutter speed. The next one is F8, which is the current aperture. The next one is the ISO of 125. This shows the uh, exposure compensation. Currently, the camera is not sent for any exposure compensation. This shows if there would be any flash exposure compensation, and it is currently set at zero, which is the default setting. Next, we see this is the mode for, uh, this is the setting for the metering modes. It's currently set at evaluative metering. Now, let's say we want to change our metering mode. You can do that very easily right on this screen. All you do is press the set button on the back of the camera. And you can, let's say we want to pick spot metering. We'll highlight the spot metering, and then we'll press the set button. And now the metering mode has been changed to spot metering. The next, to get to the next setting, all you do is press the toggle to the left, and this shows the white balance is set on automatic white balance. The next setting shows that uh, the camera is set on the standard picture style. This shows that the camera is set on a single point AF, and this shows that the camera is set to uh, produce large JPEGs. This shows that the camera is set on manual focus, and this shows that the drive mode is set to single shooting. Now, this, these little guys over here, this is, shows the auto light optimizer is set to standard. And this shows that if there are any custom controls. Now, I don't have any custom controls set right now on this camera. This uh, right here, the capital M, shows that the camera is set on the manual mode. So this is really handy. This is a really great way to view all of your settings before you start um, any type of photography session, whatever it is, you can see all of your settings at a quick glance and you can make your changes very easily. Now in a Nikon camera, um, it's done just a little bit differently. Instead of a Q button, you'll see an info button. And the info button is usually in this part of the camera right here or someplace on the back. So that's it for um, the quick control screen. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you back here for the next one. Thank you.